Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my God, did you guys see that? I'm Jess, if we're meeting for the first time. It is Friday or Saturday. Actually, I think it's Saturday. And I was just doing a reading for a friend. And I have this little message that is that I wanted to share with you guys. And basically what I received this little insight that it is that I received as I was doing this message for my friend was the things that it is that we originally wanted that we sometimes find that we navigate like life kind of navigates us away from those things they're still there and sometimes when we want something really bad or that we are in the process of manifesting it there, we might disconnect our, we might become disconnected from the very thing that is that we want the most because when the journey towards that, to that thing manifesting in a complete and whole way can be long, arduous is the word that I'm going to use. That's what's coming up to, coming up through for me right now to share with you. It can be difficult. It can be emotional. It could be triggering. It can be revealing. It can be conflicting. It can be all different types of feelings that can be exhausting to hold on to and to feel as human beings over time. And as human beings, our bodies are so wired for our survival and to kind of maintain some type of balance or some type of stability in our experience. And that's good, but it also will put you at risk of kind of accepting things or walking away from things or putting things on hold in order to self-protect and self-preserve. like And I just wanna say that if you are someone who has had a vision on your spirit and has something that you've wanted to manifest and to have it show up in your life and throughout the journey of you manifesting and working towards it, you have had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of ebbs and flows, a lot of pitfalls to get you to that point, to teach you more about yourself and to prepare you, which sometimes is not an overnight process. Sometimes it takes years for you to change in the way that's necessary for you to receive ultimately the best aspect of this picture or the best aspect of this manifestation or the best um, outcome. Is that what I'm trying to say? Like, imagine like, you know that you want to have this amazing career. Sometimes, oh, how about this? We'll put it this way. Let's say you want to manifest a dream backyard. And I say that because my backyard is, I'm like literally looking at it right now. Let's say you want to manifest this dream backyard and you have this perfect picture of what you want that backyard to look like. This, and you know that it's possible because it's dropped into your spirit. It's divinely inspired by spirit. However, the process to get to that backyard, you might not have the resources, you might not have the right climate, you might not have the right plants. There's certain things that need to become, become available or there's certain things that you would have to learn in order to maintain this perfect garden that ultimately you will receive and ultimately you're working towards. In the moment though, or at least at that stage in, in the journey, when before you get to that grand garden, this ultimate where everything is settled in and everything has character and everything makes sense and everything fits, there's a lot of trial and error. There's a lot of things that work out and a lot of things that don't. And those things, they teach you a lot about yourself. They teach you how to tweak and, and adjust and acclimate to whatever your circumstances look like and whatever the universe gives you. And, but at the same time, it can also wear you down. It can also break your spirit. It can also make you turn your head away from looking at the very thing that is that you want the most because envisioning it hurts you because it hasn't physically manifested or hasn't physically materialized yet. And your body, your, your, your spirit will start to work to kind of protect you. Did he just poop on me? Oh no, it's his tail your spirit will start to protect you from the disappointment that sets in, that's inevitably sets in. And over time, we can find certain things to distract ourselves or we sometimes get stuck looking at the things that are very similar to this grand vision that is that we want for ourselves. And we stay there because we, we again, we crave safety, we crave normalcy. I just wanna say that 
there's this really strong message that I've shared with my friend. I'm sharing it with you guys today. The very thing that it is that you wanted, that you said that you wanted, you don't, you didn't lose that. That desire is still there. You may just have temporarily been abandoned from it or disconnected from it because you needed a break from seeing the thing that is that you wanted the most. But that desire doesn't dissipate in, in you turning your head temporarily for a month, for weeks, for years, however long it is. And yes, there's times where you're going to come really close to manifesting that thing and then there'll be times where that it doesn't pan out the way that it has to or the way that, not the way that it has to, but the way that you want it to. It's not, again, the grand picture. You may have to adjust accordingly. You may have to take breaks, but don't allow the defeat and the frustration stop you from being able to see the grand image that you originally saw in the very beginning. The same image that spirit saw for you and inspired you to even start this journey and even begin to call out to the divine and say that this is something that I want for myself because it makes so much sense in my spirit. Like don't let all of the things that have halted you or all of the, the, the difficult feelings that come from wanting something so bad stop you from continuing to see it because that's something that I feel like People don't talk about enough that the, what happens when you want something so bad and sometimes even looking at it, waiting for it, talking about it, envisioning it, dreaming about it can be really, really painful because it's a reminder of what hasn't happened yet or what hasn't been physically secured. Um, the other thing that I want to say to you is that a message that I was sharing with my friend that something that you can do during that process in the in-between time is to ponder, literally ponder. And I was sharing with her um, the day Thursday. Thursday is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is ruled by wisdom and philosophy and our ability to kind of sit back. And I was kind of, Spirit was reminding me and I was telling this to my friend that, um, you know, sometimes the great elders, the great wise leaders before, they would kind of sit back and they would smoke these big pipes and the more that they would think, the more that the, they would smoke on this pipe and all this, this smoke would billow around them. And it really reminds me of the philosophy, like how the image of a philosopher can kind of be with the long beard, masculine energy, of course. But I don't see only wise people as masculine, I'm just saying. Um, and then this big peace pipe. And I was thinking how, what if Thursdays or Thursday specifically, but also we as elders or we as wise people, we allowed ourselves. I was gonna choose Thursday for this, but we allowed ourselves to kind of sit back and ponder the next steps or ponder and daydream and ponder and allow ourselves to ruminate and, and think about and consider. There's something to be said for the wisdom that comes from the ability to ponder and to reflect. And I feel like a solution for this if you're feeling a little tossed up by things not working out the way that you've wanted them to or the fact that you've manifested some things that are very similar but not the actual grand vision that it is that you will receive because you will receive it and I'm not saying that because I want you to feel hopeful and optimistic if anything I'm a pessimist at heart because um, I do get this strong sense that this is someone is going to receive it's going to, they're going to receive it. Most, most people who are listening to this message, they're going to receive the very thing that they want the most, but you won't if you stop looking for it. You won't receive it if you stop, look, if you stop looking, it's emphasis on looking for it. Like sometimes people just want something so bad that they stop looking because the times four or five times before when they were looking for it, they found something similar, but it ended a disappointment and they felt defeated. They felt disappointed. They felt disconnected even. So keep looking for it. And even while you are looking, allow yourself more ample time to kind of ponder what it would look like. What have you learned so far? What are things that you've received thus far that were joyful and beneficial, beneficial to you? What didn't work out? How would you change it? And then whatever you would change, bring that solution into the vision and begin to co-create again with the universe while you're pondering the next steps and while you're pondering the vision, while you're pondering the dream, because all of those things are ready in here. 
So I'm going to go because I'm pretty sure that my little burb here has pooped twice. Very generous. And <laughs> I just wanted to sh share that quick message with you guys. Um, so I'm sending you all of my love. I hope that this message reaches those who they're meant to. I'm gonna go clean my sofa now. Thanks little guy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.